Nous avons fait un tour d'horizon large de la situation internationale, en particulier, bien sûr, de ce qui se passe au Proche et au Moyen-Orient, de la situation en Ukraine, Syrie, Irak, Israël, Palestine. Mais une grande partie de notre conversation a été consacrée à la négociation avec l'Iran puisque, comme vous le savez, euh, il y a une date butoir qui est fixée normalement pour cette euh, négociation euh, qui expire euh, lundi soir. Notre euh, appréciation est commune. Nous souhaitons que cela soit clair, un accord avec euh, l'Iran sur les questions nucléaires, mais euh, il n'est pas possible, euh, bien sûr, euh, et cet accord... L'essentiel de cet accord, c'est oui à l'énergie nucléaire civile. Absolument oui. L'Iran a parfaitement le droit de disposer d'une énergie nucléaire civile. En revanche, pour parler clair, la bombe atomique, non. Car cela aurait des conséquences sur la sécurité régionale et sur la sécurité du monde. Alors il y a des discussions depuis longtemps. Euh, nous souhaitons un accord, mais il reste, il faut bien le dire, des points de différence importants. Et nous espérons qu'ils vont pouvoir être réduits, mais cela dépend très largement, évidemment, de l'attitude des, des euh, Iraniens. Voilà, donc euh, nous avons euh, ces réunions qui ont commencé euh, à Genève. Euh, John Kerry, moi-même, nous aurons l'occasion, bien sûr, de nous y trouver. Mais euh, le point actuel euh, de la discussion, c'est nous souhaitons un accord, mais il reste des points importants à régler. John. Well, thank you, Laura. Um, I, I think basically uh, uh, what I'm going to say will effectively be uh, the English version of what Laura has just said to you because we are in agreement. Um, and I want to begin by thanking Laura for hosting me here today and for working as he has so effectively over the last months. Um, in order to get us to the place where we have the choice that is before us. Uh, we covered, as he said, a vast arena, uh, tragically too much of it, of conflict, uh, of the challenges that we face today. And we talked about Ukraine, Syria, Libya, uh, the challenge of Iraq, ISIL, uh, And, of course, as Laura said, we also were significantly focused on the issue of Iran. Yes, we do want to get an agreement, but it's not just any agreement. It has to be an agreement that works, that achieves the goal of guaranteeing that the pathways uh, to a bomb uh, will not and cannot be used. And uh, we are united all of us in the P5 plus one, in our sense of where the issues are, what the issues are, and what we need to do. Uh, we are going to work very hard. Our teams are on the ground in Vienna now. We hope that uh, those gaps uh, that exist, and they do exist, uh, can be closed. Uh, and we believe, all of us, uh, that uh, if you have a peaceful nuclear program, Uh, it really isn't that hard, technically, to be able to prove uh, that it is peaceful. Uh, our hope is that uh, we'll be able to close the gaps, move forward, work with our technical experts, our teams, and see whether or not uh, in the next days uh, we can move closer to or achieve uh, some sense of uh, uh, how we close uh, the, the uh, agreement. So that's where we are. Uh, we're not going to negotiate in public. Uh, we're going to proceed carefully in the next days. Uh, and again, I'm very grateful to Laurent for his advice and counsel, and most of all, his, uh, his uh, partnership uh, in this effort, the partnership of France, the United States, Great Britain, Germany, uh, China, Russia has been solid, uh, even with differences on other kinds of issues. We are all working in concert on this, uh, and we hope we can uh, define the finish line and get there. 
Merci. Thank you. Merci. 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 Merci.